everybody. This is Adrienne with Ascension Soul Coaching. Today is February the 3rd, 2022, and we're going to do a reading on Chelsea Christ. She was the former Miss America from 2019 who, on Sunday, uh, January the 30th, 2022, jumped from a building in uh, New York City and she committed suicide. So this is a solemn reading. I don't normally do readings that quickly after someone passes, uh, but I just want to there's a lot going on now with all the pandemic and a lot of people are feeling a lot of depression and stress and I just want to be able to do a reading to show, to talk about really where she was before she passed, like what was going on with her. Because a lot of times we don't want to talk about that. We don't, we talk about they passed, why did they pass, but we don't want to get any deeper into any of that. Mental health is so important. I had a daughter, or I have a daughter, and uh, when she was in her teenage years, we had to end up taking her to counseling because she was struggling with some issues. We don't want to call it mental health, but it was really mental health. And now she's thriving and she's doing great. I don't know if she's still having issues, but I'm always talking to her and I'm always asking her how she's feeling. And she seems to be on board. She has her own, her own YouTube channel, and I've seen her on there talking about her struggles with her business and how, but she's doing really well. But when she goes through those little struggles with her business and she verbalizes. So one of the things we learned and she learned during the counseling sessions where she needed to talk. She wasn't talking to us when she was younger. She would keep everything in. So, you know, we all can learn from that. In the black uh, or African-American communities, a lot of times we don't want to talk about it. I think the doors are opening to that, that we're becoming more aware that we really do have to listen to our children. And if there's some things that they're going through that they may meet as parents may not be able to deal with or have the experience in dealing with or coaching our children through it there's a diff you know there's the school guidance counselors and then there's also counseling so you know that's where we need to go so we're going to do a reading today on where was her mind frame so that we can maybe we can have a little look into when people commit suicide sometimes everything looks great and we had we we look back and we say we had we had no idea that that was going to happen so let's see if we could just pinpoint something within the last week of her life that was going on like what was she feeling what was really where was her tension where was her feeling i don't know her personally but i'm just saying we're just going to do a little reading about that and if she gives us permission to do that then we will do it okay all right so i'm going to pull some cards i'm going to use a couple cards today um, i'm going to use the um let's see what we're going to use i'm going to use mystical moments tarot of mystical, mystical moments and we're going to use healing cards, maybe one of those. And I'm going to throw one, we haven't used this in a long time, Conscious Spirit. Okay, so let's get ready to pull them. Let's do this reading. Okay, so I'm going to pull some cards on... Chelsea Christ or Miss America. You know, she'd become a lawyer and she was a um, host on the extra special correspondent. And I was looking at some of her videos as they were talking about her because I, I didn't know of her. Um, and I thought she was a beautiful girl. She had a lot of energy. And, um, but you know, looks can be deceiving. Let's see what's going on. I want to know what's, what's going on that last week. And then I'm going to do, so one card for the last week, what influenced her, what was influencing her, not what influenced her, you know, what, what was influencing her and or affecting her, and then what was that last day like, that last hour, what was going through her mind, just for healing purposes only, not to exploit, to give insight to others about what to look for, or if it's happening to you, what you can do about it. Okay, so, I need three cards. First card's gonna be the week, the last week of her life. Then, what was influencing her? What was influencing her that week? Give me that day. Sorry. 
please give me that that hour. What was pushing her? One card, please. What was that one last hour? Okay, so we got three cards. I'll leave this one out. Ooh, these are all surprises, okay? So I'm putting these over here because this is in the past, right? And then I want to talk about um, how people who are going through what she's going through can heal with these, this scenario. And then consciously as a whole, what can we all do for people who are going through that? So these are the first three cards. So this is the week. What was happened to her this week? What was, what was her week like? It was Knight of Wands. So Knight of Wands, right side up, is jumping through fire, being adventuresome. She's jumping through this hoop, not even look, looking. She's not even looking at the... Uh, she's just got confidence that she's going to get through it. Passionate, charming, self-confident. But it was reversed. This week, see here she would have been very confident and adventuresome, but here it looks like she was, there was a lot of things going on that week. Maybe she was frustrated. Maybe something wasn't going well with some of the things she was working on. Maybe some business deals didn't go through, or maybe her job wasn't going as well, or maybe she got feedback. So she was doing a lot of things, like so she became Miss America. She became a lawyer. She was working on um, extra. Did something fall through or did she get some feedback she didn't like or did she just feel like the projects that she was working on wasn't going well? Whatever it was, she didn't think it through. It was like very quick, like, I'm not good at this. I'm not doing this. I, I suck or something. Uh, she wasn't confident anymore. Not in that last week. Right. Okay, so what was influencing her? Well, I don't think this is the first time she's ever thought about death. All her problems would be over. She's not good enough. She's not this enough. She's not that enough. She can't please everybody. And sometimes people think, I just need something new. I need to do something different or... I don't, like I said, I do not believe this is the first time she's ever th thought about killing herself. But this was the influence of that week. It was too much. She had been thinking about it all week. And then the last card, let's see, let me flip it over right. Let me just lift it up this way. Was that last hour, King of Pentacles. Reversed. Usually the, pen, the king of pentacles is cautious, unwavering. Again, very confident in understanding life and how to handle money and health and just having a good life. Very hard working and very realistic about life. But this was reversed. And if you see... <laughs> She's got that crown on. It's a crown, even though it's a city life. But it's reversed. I feel like, does that something to do with money? Was she losing the deal? Or did she owe somebody money? Or was, she, was her debts upside down? Or... So she was in the big city with her crown. Did she get into a bad business deal? Something happened. She got notified of something as far as her business, her job, or her some project, or something she owed money to, or she was losing money from. She was no longer in control of this. She was losing financial. There was a financial loss. And it could have, may, may have been a big loss. may not have been a big loss. didn't matter because all week she had been thinking about this. So maybe she knew about this. Maybe, like I said again, she lost the confidence um, in a project she was working on or something she was doing. And it just made her feel miserable. 
And it's not the first time she's thought this, so about herself, that she wanted to kill herself. Or sometimes, because she's always talking about mental health. I don't know, I was looking at some of the videos. She's doing the mental health check-in on, uh, on other stars that she was interviewing with, which was cool. That was good. That was great. But this thing tipped her over. Like, was she going to lose face? Or was she going to lose deals? Or did she lose money? Or did she owe somebody money? And she felt she was in over her head. Like, I can't do this anymore. Okay. So that's the week and the influence in the day. Now, I'm going to use the healing cards. Because a lot of times, especially during this pandemic, a lot of people, and I may have to refer to the book because I don't, we'll try to do an intuitive read. Um, a lot of people are going through depression. There's an increase in divorce, breakups domestic abuse, people losing their jobs. And, you know, finances is one of the biggest reasons why people get in get divorced is because they can't agree on finances or they're going through a financial hardship and it just breaks the family, the couple down, breaks down the couple. And with people losing all their jobs and stuff like that, it's very stressful. So we can understand that some people are going through a lot of issues. So it's important that we do these welfare check-ins on our family and just, you know, help our family members whenever we can, even if it's financial, because a lot of people are going through this and it may be you going through it. So I want, you know, there's help for you out there. You, you don't have to do this alone. There's someone to speak to you. There's other people going through that can maybe help you and give you some insight on how they're going through the challenge and how they're beating the challenge. So let's pull a card on what, if you're going through this or someone you know is going through this, how do you heal when you're feeling at loss with a job and finances and you feel like you can't pay your bills and everything is crashing down around you and you get desperate, right? You get anxious, you get desperate. What do you do? What can you do? We're going to ask the Holy Spirit to provide us a card to give us, to help you give you guidance. This reading is not for just people to watch. It's for people who need help who are going through situations. And the card that came out was, uh, so this card is this. <laughs> Perform as if it were your last. Perform every act as if it was your last. Interesting. She's on a type rope looking down. And I don't want to get into all that, that imagery, but it says all the spiritual masters tell us to make every decision and choice as if your whole life could be changed because of it. Today, be mindful only of who you are in each and every action. So as far as helping People who are going through this stress, I'm not going to show the other side of the card because I think, you know, we're getting a little macabre there. I mean, it's the cards just are speaking, right? And I, and I asked the question, it's giving me the answer. But it's saying, be, think before you act because it could be the last thing you do. It, things that's happening to this to you in this world is not the last thing. It's not the only. You're not the only person that's gone through it. Yes, it's hard. Yes, I will never just. You have every right to feel fear and feel anxiety and feel or feel uh, inadequate but you got to walk through that fear you got to get through the other side of the fear and you can there's help for you there's people in your life that can help you there's counselors that can help you and i know it sounds cliche but it's so very true believe you me there's more people in this world who've thought about doing something to themselves who decide not to and then they come out on the other side and they make the best life but if it's a, but you know, and it's not that easy just to say mental health is just about getting help. There's so many more things. There's spiritual, there's mental, and there's physical. Sometimes it's a, you know, you might need medication. Just saying, but we, you need to first get help and see where you need to get the help. Where, what's going to be the best solution for you to help you get through what you're going through? And I wish you all the best in that. So we all, but people, your family, we all need to understand that sometimes people who do these drastic actions, it's. They don't think they think it's the last, but they, they hope it's not. And they're relieved when they do something and it and it doesn't end their life. And unfortunately, when you do it and it does in your life, you, there's no other choices. But there are so many options for you and prayers and people of con who con are concerned about you and who want to help. And I just, we don't. I don't and it's just we if you've never gone through it, you just don't know. But this is not. 
Don't take that leap. Don't do that. Because that could end it all. When you could have such a beautiful 30 more years of your life and you just gave it all up. So we need you need to find help. You need to console other people. You need to speak out and say what you're feeling. Sometimes that helps. And then the people who are listening and you're telling, hopefully they have their ears open and they will hear you and they will help you. Or they will show you how to get help or take you to get help. So that's that card. And so the next thing is like, how can we, um, as a consciousness, people in the universe society help people who are going through these issues so we're going to use the conscious spirit cards here and we're going to pull out one card Card is the third eye chakra. I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. So let's get the book and let's read what it says. Third eye chakra. So the third eye chakra says that the third eye is linked to the to the light intuition and self reflection. Its name is Anna. It's A J N A. It means to know, which means to know and perceive. The color associated with it is indigo, and it's um, situated above and between your eyebrows. This card reminds you. Uh, let's see. Let's put the card down. It says this card reminds. Let's read it this way. <laughs> this card is a reminder to you that we all have the ability to awaken intuitively and spirit and psychic powers are within us. Guidance from higher realms often calls to you as a gut feeling. When learning ways of developing this intuition, by learning to tune into your intuition, you will be guided to make the best choices in your life. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Okay. Trusting your intuition will always help release you of fear and instill more confidence within you. Remember to honor and encourage the abilities in others as they too can become masters of their own lives. <sighs> okay, so, you know, we really don't know what was going on with her, but the cards are just saying that she's lost her she lost her confidence that week. Something happened where there was a project going on or something like that that she just felt like she just wasn't, either she got feedback on or she just didn't feel like she was good at she has all she's not the first time she's thought about death and that's important to understand about people who are going through depression that sometimes it can take them there that's where they're, they're they it could end up and we need to if we see someone going through depression who's overly worried and stressed out you know we really need to ping into that and to try to encourage them to get help and then of course you know money issues or maybe she thought there was perceived money issues coming or she owed somebody or she was just felt like she was I'm trying to get this card right. She was financially, there we go, burdened and over her head. I don't know. That's that last hour. Something noticed, something she was told, something she just, I think she was told something and or saw something and she just felt like she couldn't pay it or she wasn't able to pay it or she was just, she just, she was just too strapped. Something just went off balance on her and it just took her to that level. You know, that whole week was very stressful for her, in other words. And you do have to, I'm not going to show you the picture, but you do need to definitely, definitely think about your actions. Think about what you could do that's positive instead of negative. Taking your life is not positive. It hurts so many people, not just yourself. It hurts your family, the people around you, and it's done. You can't, you will never see the other side of, of what could have been that so and I know it's hard sometimes to say how in the world am I going to get from here to there but believe you me many people have done it with help 
kind you know with god with praying whatever your religious belief is or non-religious belief in the universe it will help you if you ask it we need you here fully present we need you here whatever you're going through we need you here we want you to heal. We want you to feel life fully and enjoy it. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. So don't just end it. There's so much love for you. Whether it's in your scope, of span of scope that you have right now in your family or outside, there's someone out there who's, let me let you just know right now, even if you don't feel it in your family or with your friends or you don't have any friends or you're not dating anybody and you feel lonely, you have love from me and from a lot of people out here who are just pouring in love to you right now. Just pouring in their vibes and their vibes of love and healing to you right now. They want to see you get better. And I guarantee you that. And I hope you feel it. And then we as a nation, as a country, as a world, are, you know, whatever, wherever you're from, you need to be able to tap into your own family and your friends and your neighbors. Have wellness checks. Call and say, don't just text people. Call them. Pick up the phone and hit dial, not just text. You know, Facebook is great to say I like someone, but sometimes it's better to just, it's really is better if you pick up that phone. We've become too lazy and just liking pictures on Facebook and not actually calling our friends and family anymore. We just get all the news and we just read it about what's happening in our family, but we're not picking up the phone and being proactive. And this pandemic just made this all worse. We do not live in a virtual reality. We do not ever want to live in a virtual reality. We, God had made us to be social creatures. We are, we need community. We need people around us. Even my own son down in Texas told me, hey mom, you wanna been down here to Texas to see me once. Yeah, I've been down here three years um, and I've been home three times. Can you come see me? You know, he's 30 years old, right? But he still wants his mom. He needs the proximity to closeness. And that's because this is how we're made. Cannot just phone it in. You know, as they say in acting, you don't show up. You don't, you're not fully there. Virtual should be 10% and everything else should be 90% of physically being with people, calling in, talking to them, because that's when you find out when something is wrong, you can tell on the phone sometimes, but you definitely can't tell a lot when you're just looking at Facebook what somebody's really going through because they're going to show you their best face. But once in a while, they tell you when they're sick or when there's a little issues in the family, but it's not a lot. And they don't tell you a lot about how they're feeling. They just say, hey, this is going on. And then a lot of people say, oh, I hope you feel well. They just do little clicks or they just do a little mojo or what you call them, memes, whatever. But you've got to pick up that phone and call people. Connection is important. And I'm sure... Um, I, I, I would believe that this girl, of course, did not live with her mother. She probably left, lived alone, Chelsea, I'm saying. Um, and, and, and she's living in a big city in New York, and she's got a work, you know, pressure. Like, she's great at her work, but she probably had a lot of pressure, and she needed someone to talk to. Maybe that's what was going on. And it, it, not the only thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to minimize it. I'm just saying, would that have helped if she had somebody there who could really watch and see what was going on with her? The job, you see a person, that's their persona at work. You know, but when you're home, it's totally different. So um, she probably had a lot of work or co-workers who loved her. You know, stars she talked to um, doing interviews, you know, even talking about wellness checks. But they didn't know her like that and they didn't see her daily. And that's what we're missing in this world right now because the suicide rate and the rate of depression has such so increased since this pandemic. It was already high enough. But then this pandemic sent it soaring. So we need to reach out to people and figure out what's going on with them. Be there, be, be that by brother's keeper. So that is my reading for today. If you would like a reading with me, please contact me at ascensionsoulcoaching at gmail.com. And y'all have a blessed day and keep the prayers up for people who are going through stressful times right now. Lift up this world, lift up this, this, the, the community that we live in and pray, pray, because they're trying to start a World War III. And that's, that's, <laughs> that's going to make this world so much more chaotic. And we need prayer, prayer and peace and love. And that's all I want to say today. Y'all have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.